Hello everyone, my name is Eurofan and today I wanted to show you and talk to you guys about a TikTok that I saw today. Honestly, this TikTok makes me question a lot of things uh, that I thought of myself and I thought about myself, but we'll get to that in a moment after we saw on the TikTok. And before we see the TikTok, I want to show you this creator's page real quick. And I'm pretty sure you've seen the TikTok float around somewhere. It's from someone called Zoe Stellar. Uh, she is a educationer i think from the lgbtq plus community she uses the she day th there's another flag that i don't know about i'm sorry yeah i i don't know not a lot about flags the only flags i know are country flags gonna be completely on I, I know the rainbow flag but that's it she puts her instagram there she says get to know me and she does all about like all her content is about uh, the LGBTQ plus community and then she has this site so before we hop into the site again I just want to check out her Instagram real quick so that's what we're gonna do her Instagram page and here it is Zoe Stellar by the way don't send any hate to her I should probably disclose that uh, like f first but anyway here we are uh, she's a Jewish lesbian uh, a mental health warrior a creator and an educator a Philly I don't know what that is, I'm sorry. She has her email, yeah. And she says, get to know me. Again, it's her... And, and by the way, her Instagram posts are pretty normal. You know, some educational stuff, some personal photos or whatever. It's pretty normal. And she has her link again. Links.zoestellar.com So I was like, hey, let's check that out. Maybe it's pretty important. Maybe that's what defines her. And um, no, it's not. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you guys. She says, again, at Zoe Stoller. Did I say Stellar this whole time? Zoe Stellar from Philadelphia and New York City, is it? Philadelphia and New York City. She has her LinkedIn, she has her Instagram, she has her TikTok, she has her email, and I think that's Vimeo, but I'm not 100% sure. Hi, I'm Zoe, a professional writer and digital marketer who is passionate about pride, self-love, and individuality. I nailed that word. Can, can we get a replay of that? Damn. Love and individuality. I share educational content and personal stories surrounding the LGBTQ plus and mental health communities in order to inspire others to be their fullest and most authentic selves. She has an email, she has these posts below this, you, you could go check it out if you want to. But we're not here to talk about the creator, we're, talk about, we're here to talk about the created, which is the TikTok. So here, I'll play the TikTok and I'll chip in when I think is necessary, okay? This is the free sexual flag. It represents everyone who's free sexual. So there's something called free sexual. I honestly don't know what's going on with this LGBTQ plus thing. It's like every day something new comes up. Like, no offense, but honestly, that's how I feel like it. Now there's something called free sexual, apparently, which is a sexual orientation on the asexual spectrum. I don't know what that means. Is this like a fucking, like, light, you know, that has spectrums? Autism, autism has spectrums? Is it something like that? Like a, the bell curve? Maybe? I don't know. I honestly don't know. She She's educated and I'm not. So uh, I'll blame it on that for now. In other words, those who only experience a sexual attraction for people that they are not in a close emotional bond with. And they lose that attraction as they get to know the person. The so whoever you're not in a close emotional bond with, if you are attracted to them and you're not close to them, you're afraid sexual. They lose the attraction as they get to know the person. So basically, this this is a... An excuse for one night standers for like fuck boys and so apparently this this sexuality is you are sexually attracted to someone you don't know which which is weird already so you can't you you don't have emotional bonds which really goes very against what what nature is really let's be honest like you don't make emotional bonds what are you a fucking robot are, are you an AI no you're human you have to have like a deeper connection with someone or something, you know? Not something, probably someone. And it says here it's basically the opposite of a demisexual. I don't know what that means, but from my, what I can gather, like from the context I have here, face sexuals are people that they lose attraction as they get to know the person. Demisexual is the opposite. So they gain more attraction as they get to know the person. So you don't have to put labels on things, you know what I mean? Demisexual is just normal. It's completely normal. As you get to know the person, you get more attracted to your partner. Or you don't, but that's not very important, you know? People get, like, emotional around each other, or emotional and vulnerable around their partners. That's what relationships are for. They're like, you're codependent of each other. Like, you depend on them, they depend on you. Am I, am I mistaken? The blue and cyan stripes stand for strangers or acquaintances. The white stripe stands for lack of attraction. 
and the gray stripe at the bottom stands for any confusion about your sexual attraction. And she tells, talks about the uh, fucking flag or whatever. And honestly, not every flag has to mean something, you know? H have you seen, like, may, may, you know what, maybe it does have a meaning, but have you seen the Japanese flag? I don't think it has a meaning, but maybe I'm wrong. You know, it's just a dot on a white surface. Have you seen the French flag before it was the French flag? It was white. It was completely white and nothing else. Like, not not all flags need to have a meaning. But anyway, that's, that's a huge tangent. So that's... That's the content, right? That That's the context you need to know. And already you have suspicions, right? And I was like, hey, this is basically a sexuality for fuckboys and for sluts and for whores, basically. And I was like, hey, let, let me check the comments. Maybe, maybe people have the same assumption. And oh my god, they do. Okay, he, here's here's some of the comments. So, just toxicity. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant comment already. Toxicity. I, I don't know how to say that word, I'm sorry. So, just toxicity yeah that's right and has 24 replies yikes i'm rainbow and i think uh we gotta draw the line here guys did you just assume my gender the fuck anyway i heart i heartly f fuck it that name i can't anymore this is a joke okay are you guys just making up things now yeah that, that that's what i thought honestly i like you but i don't want to know you and it really sums up how fucked up this is. If someone claims they're free sexual, it's it's against everything that you think you know about a person, you know what I mean? Is this a joke? You're hot, but I don't like your personality. Another very well observation done by Cult99. Wow, literally just about everyone is LGBT. Nope, not everyone identifies with the LGBTQ community. You say that and you have a sexuality called demisexual where... People get more attracted as they know another person, which is common sense. You're basically putting labels on everyone. You're just putting people in labels. You're labeling people. You don't have to label people. You don't have to come up with things just to label people. Oh, this guy is uh, like, this guy is attracted to people they don't know. But when they know that person, they get less attracted. Uh, fuck boys. No, no, no. Let's call them fray sexuals. People that get more attracted as they get to know their partner. Human nature. No, no, no. Let, let's put a label on it. Let's call it demi sexual this is basically what this is like people at lgbtq you don't really have to label people can we not do this commitment <laughs> commitment issues be like that's a good comment from carfon 2004 y'all are valid but does this mean you can't get into any relationships yeah that's r really true like free sexuals basically have commitment issues or something i don't know how are they gonna find love very good observation people props just use this to get out of a relationship lol very good assessment of the situation is this trying to mock me and my lgbtq sisters lameo is this some sort of satire that i'm not picking up <laughs> very good comment i on i hope this is satire i hope this is like a meme that i'm not catching up on but i highly doubt it i don't know guys like I i've said this a lot of times but maybe this is too far hey i'm not the expert here but that's just my two cents in the matter thank you for watching i hope i see you in my next video i hope i see you in every single one of my videos and that's about it really, um, bye.